The popularity of the TV series ER has made my next guest a household name. But fame did not come early or easy to 35-year-old George Clooney. For almost 15 years, he worked in obscurity, playing minor roles on TV series like Facts of Life, Sisters, and Roseanne. And many of his early film roles, well, they never even made it to the screen. But now, as sexy Dr. Doug Ross, George Clooney's bedside manner is making hearts beat faster and ratings soar. Carol. Are you sure that you don't have a PKU card tucked away in that special stash of yours? Like this? I can always count on you. On the TV series ER, Clooney plays personable pediatrician Dr. Doug Ross, the guy with lots of on-duty charm and an off-duty drinking problem. Ow! The show has become a smash hit. On my count. My count. Critics praise ER for its fast-paced script that makes viewers do a little work to follow what's going on. Four of O negative on the rapid infuser. The show also gets the thumbs up from the medical community for its realistic portrayal of emergency room activity. Another hundred of Pronesto. It grabs almost 40% of viewers in its Thursday night time slot. That makes it the hottest show on TV since CBS's Dallas in the early 80s. And ER's popularity has launched Clooney's career into the big time. You know, most people you would say, okay, I've done it. Now I can use this as a stepping stone. You don't see it as a stepping stone. No, I don't. It's not a stepping stone. When you do a show as good as uh, ER, those are things you fight for your entire life to get on. 80% of what we do is not good as actors. 80% of theater, 80% of films, 80% of television is crap. Uh, we know it and we've done it our whole lives. Uh, this is part of the 20%. It happens to be in television. I don't mind that. I like television. I'm a, I'm a product of it and grew up around it and in it, and I'm proud of it, and I'm very proud of this television show. When George Clooney says he is a product of television, he means literally. Born into a showbiz family, his dad, Nick Clooney, was the host of TV talk shows in Ohio and Kentucky. George was only five years old when he began going to work with his dad, helping out behind the scenes. His dad was his idol and his inspiration. Well, you know what's funny is when I was uh, when I first started out and I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do. My father was in broadcasting. You know, he would he did it all. He had a variety show, and then he was an anchor, and he writes a column for the paper, and pretty much anything that pay the rent. Um, but. I, I always, I never thought in terms of acting, I thought in terms of broadcasting, and I would host PM Magazine, and I tried to do some live remotes and stuff like that. And, I, and the truth is, because my father was a big celebrity in Cincinnati, my foot was in the door. I was Nick Clooney's son, so I could get the opportunity uh, that other people who deserved it more wouldn't get. I would get the opportunity, but once I was in the door, they would expect much better things from me because of my father and how good he was. And the truth is, I was never going to be as good as my dad. Um, at what he does. So. George's dad wasn't the only famous family member. His aunt, Rosemary Clooney, was one of the top-selling female singers of the 50s with a thriving film career of her own. With such a pedigree, a showbiz career would seem natural, but both his father and aunt actively discouraged him from pursuing acting. He thought about a baseball career, trying out for the Cincinnati Reds. He briefly attended Northern Kentucky University, where he was, by his own admission, more interested in parties than classes. But the acting bug bit at age 20. He auditioned on a fluke for a film being shot in his college town. He won a bit part in the film, and even though it never made it to the screen, George Clooney knew what he wanted to do. He dropped out of college and moved to Los Angeles, where for the next few years he did odd jobs and went to auditions. But even with the famous last name, building the acting career was slow going. In all, he appeared in 15 television pilots and a number of forgettable films. Uh, ladies, did I mention the Playboy centerfold opportunity? Marker? He competed for and lost out on some juicy roles. He tried for the role of the cowboy in Thelma and Louise but lost it to Brad Pitt. And he auditioned for a part in The Breakfast Club, but lost out to Judd Nelson. He gained a reputation as a good-looking young actor with an unremarkable career. But all that changed with the popularity of ER. You be cool. 
Last year, while on hiatus from the show, he starred in From Dusk to Dawn, a campy vampire film where he and co-star Quentin Tarantino play two Texas bank-robbing brothers who escape across the border, holding a pastor and his family hostage. Then they run into a biker bar full of bloodthirsty vampires. Although the film didn't have much box office bite, the movie offers have kept rolling in. You know what my mother used to say to me? Gee, no. Love your guy like a little boy and he'll grow into a man. Huh? Love your guy like a little boy, he'll grow into a man. She knew back then that you were gay? Not gay. Then why did she advise Most recently, he starred opposite Michelle Pfeiffer in One Fine Day, a Tracy Hepburn-style romantic comedy where Clooney plays a divorced dad and newspaper columnist trying to balance fatherhood with professional demands. Maggie. That trademark, easygoing Clooney charm, is the perfect foil for driven, controlling career woman Michelle Pfeiffer. I really don't need your help, but if I did, you would be the very last person I would turn to. Meanwhile, like his characters in ER and One Fine Day, Clooney remains a bachelor. He lives in an eight-bedroom Tudor mansion in Beverly Hills that he shares with an assortment of recently divorced buddies and his constant four-legged companion, Max. Max the pig. He's, uh, I've had him for nine years now. Big, fat, ugly pig that I adore. Why a pig? Well, I, I used to call it my earthquake survival kit. You know, if the big one hits, you got food for a month. Um, uh, uh, you know, I just saw him. I was doing the, the uh, series Roseanne, and uh, someone brought, uh, the, a, a animal wrangler had him in the back of her van, you know, and, uh, and I saw him, and I said, I, you know, I want this thing. And they, she said they say small. He weighs 160 pounds now, but, uh, uh, but I love him. He's great. I've had him for a long time now. The pig was part of a split-up settlement from former girlfriend Kelly Preston, who is now married to John Travolta. Clooney himself was married briefly to actress Talia Balsam, but they divorced in 1992. He says his celebrity has made it difficult to manage a private life. Can you have love and work together? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can, although it's, it's a little more difficult because usually you always figure it's either or. You know, either your career is going great or your relationship's going great. Um, right now, both are going very well for me. Um, we'll see how long that lasts, you know. Ah, that's what I want to hear. It's ironic. Clooney's ER character is a pediatrician because fatherhood is one job he says he definitely doesn't want. But he gets a lot of good-natured ribbing from friends and colleagues about the topic. For example among the director and staff of One Fine Day. Mr. Hoffman was telling me that you, uh, he has a bet with you, a thousand dollar bet. Yeah. Nicole Kidman, I think ten thousand dollar, everybody's... Michelle, ten thousand too. Ten, Michelle, ten thousand too. So the way I figured that's twenty one grand that I, they, they think that I'll uh, have kids. Within the next five years. Within the next five years. That's twenty one grand, okay? I figure I get the vasectomy for four grand, I'm what, seventeen grand up right there. I got cash in pocket. What's this fear of kids and commitment again? It's no fear, actually. I, it's, it's a, for me, it was just logic. I think that um, I love kids. I get along with them great. I, ha I have fun with them. But I think that it, they are ultimately, uh, it, it's, the most, it's the biggest responsibility you have ever. And you don't do that half-assed. You don't go and go, ah, yeah, I, I could have kids. You do it because something in you says, I have to have kids. And I don't have that in me. Maybe I will sometime. I don't feel it. I don't have it. I'm 35 years old right now, so I know a lot about what I want in life, and that's not something that, that drives me. So, These days, he says he tries to lead a normal life, but being a celebrity can cramp a lifestyle. He has also found love elusive, though he is dating again. Your character finally gives in to finding love again. Mm -hmm. And Mel, when are you going to give in? I got a girlfriend right now, so I'm not... Uh, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to jinx it, but yeah, I got a great girlfriend right now, a girl named Celine that I met in Paris. Are you afraid of remarrying? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I wasn't very good at it, to be quite honest. I wasn't. I didn't do a great job of it, so I, I don't want to screw anybody up. I, uh, so we'll, we'll see. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm fine right now. Later this year, Clooney will star in a Steven Spielberg picture called The Peacemaker. And this summer, he'll succeed Val Kilmer as the caped crusader in the newest Batman film. I'll be right back.